Hi there, good day and welcome to Techwatiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to perform realization of code converters using logic gates. For this purpose, we use the Logism software for implementation and verification of binary to gray, gray to binary and BCD to 7 segment code converters using logic gates. There are numerous codes like binary, octal, hexadecimal, binary coded decimal, XS3, gray code, error correction code, ASCII code and so on which are commonly used in computers, digital electronics and microprocessors. So first let us see the binary to gray code converter. So the binary to gray code converter is an ordinary form Binary to gray code is ordering of binary numeral system such that two successive values differ by one bit only. So in this example, we can see that the binary value that is given is 11101. So this is converted to its corresponding gray code. So the first one is retained as such. The second one, the, that is the first bit and second bit is XORed to get the second gray code bit. And once again, the second binary bit and the third binary bit is XORed to obtain the third gray code bit. The third binary and fourth binary bit are XORed to get the fourth gray code bit and the process goes on. So this is the logic diagram of binary to gray code converter. This is its truth table and this is the logic behind it. So now let us see how to perform this experiment using Logism software. For binary to gray code conversion, we just need three XOR gates. For that, in this toolbox, we go to gates and we pick XOR gate. You can just place it on the screen, Control C, Control V and you can create multiple copies of the gate. So I have my three XOR gates and I have four inputs here. So I give four binary bits as my inputs. So those bits, I arrange it. And next I arrange my output values or output bits. These are the pins. Once again, four pins are required because I'll be getting four bits as my outputs and I can start giving my connections. So once the connection is made, you can see how the blue changes to green. Alright, so instead of giving these pins at the output, we can also give LEDs that is available here at input output. You can just pick the LED and place it. Now we have given our connections, we have to check we have to verify if the truth table is satisfied. So for that purpose, we have to change to the hand tool. So once I select the hand tool, I click on the input values and I see that the output is changing. So with this, we can verify the truth table. When there is 0011, I get 0010. So there is a, always there is one bit change. So this can be verified. So now we are going to perform gray to binary code conversion. This is the logic diagram. This is very similar to binary to gray code conversion. This is the truth table and this is the logic behind it. Now let me show you an example of how this transformation or how this conversion is done. Let's take a gray code 1010 for an example. We are going to convert this into its corresponding binary value. So for this purpose, the first gray code bit G3 will remain as such. It will be retained to get the bit B3. Next, this B3 is XORed with the next bit G2, that is the next gray code bit, to get the next binary bit B2. And this process continues to convert the gray code to its corresponding binary code. Now, let us see how this is done using Logism. So for gray to binary conversion also we need the same XOR gates. So I pick the XOR gates. I place three XOR gates on my screen. We need four inputs. 
So here we will be feeding gray code as our inputs and we will be obtaining 4 bits at our output so we place 4 output pins so here also you can use LEDs instead of output pins so we start giving the connections please note that there is a lot of difference in the connections and that is really very important Alright, so half the connections are over, now this is the first Alright, so this is our completed circuit. So now we can once again move to the hand tool, you can try changing the inputs, you can see how the conversion from grey code to binary code is done and you can verify the truth table. So now we are going to perform BCD to 7 segment conversion. So this is the logic diagram. We will be providing a BCD input of 4 bits and obtaining corresponding 7 segment display bits. This is the truth table and this is how the 7 segment display looks like. So here from this logic diagram these values this A is connected to the A of the 7 segment display. And if we are giving a BCD value of 0, 0, 0, 1, the corresponding value of 1 will be displayed in this 7 segment display. So let's see how to perform this experiment using Logison. So we are now going to perform a binary coded decimal to 7 segment conversion. So I know that you guys would have been a little bit shocked to see that huge circuit that's a little confusing. So we are going to use a different procedure to do this particular circuit. So instead of feeding the circuit and uh, verifying the truth table manually, we can feed the truth table as such to the software and let the software to create a circuit for you. So for this purpose, you have to go to window and click on combinational analysis. So here we are supposed to give the inputs and outputs. So I give A, B, C and D as my inputs and at outputs I give small letter A B C D E F and G that's because my seven segment display needs seven bits that is the reason I'm giving so many bits and with this I can create a truth table so it has already created the inputs for my truth table I just have to give it some outputs so this you just can double click and change the outputs so this is the truth table so I'll quickly give the values to it Okay, so I have given all the input values and the outputs of my truth table and I just click on build circuit. Okay, so it asks for the circuit name. So I say this is seven segment display and I give OK and the circuit is created here. As simple as that, isn't it? So now uh, I haven't given a 7 segment display yet. It is just the inputs and output bits. So for that purpose, let me give a 7 segment display here. So you have to know what are the pins of a 7 segment display. So this is G, F, A and B and over here it is E, D, C and decimal point D, P. Okay, so I have to know where which one has to go. So this is A and A goes here. This is B and B goes here. C goes over here and D goes next to C. E goes next to D. and F goes on top mm 
G also goes on top next to F. So our connections are over. So 0, 0, 0, 0 is given. So this is the BCD value. So we get a 0 here. So we change back to the hand tool. I give a 1. I get a 1 here. I give a 2. I get a 2, 3 and 4 and I can get an 8. So all the values are verified. So this is how we perform the BCD to 7 segment conversion. So there are a lot of applications of code converters. They are used in shaft encoders. They are used for subtraction. They are used in RAID disks. They are used by ASCII standards. They are used in 7 segment displays. So there are n number of applications where these code converters can be used. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.